I met the Queen in 1967. I was a very young mister, and it was quite a, a moment for me to meet both her and Prince Philip. And she was always speaking French with me. Uh, not always, but most of the time. And I make the joke, do you know why? Because she couldn't understand my English. <laughs> 12 Prime Ministers. Queen Elizabeth has known 12 Canadian Prime Ministers. Most have come and gone from her life. Not Jean Chrétien. He is a stalwart, part of the bond, the French language, and a good laugh. I had the privilege with Aline to be with them and Prince Charles and Prince Hassan four days in the Northwest Territories in 1970. It's very agreeable toujours euh, le point de parler en français avec moi. I had met the royal family five times in a year and a half. It's a lot for a French Canadian. So I said, I am the royalist from Quebec, Your Majesty. And uh, she would laugh. To our new constitution. So at that time, we had a lot of problem with national unity. And uh, she will always be uh, very preoccupied with that and asking me questions about it. The Patriation of the Constitution in 1982. Chrétien says there were attempts to drag the Queen into a political position, but she resisted, determined strictly to do just what Canada needed her to do, including being there for the signing. Serious, then momentarily not. When my, I signed the Constitution, the new Constitution, the Queen signed first. <clears throat> After that, Trudeau signed. And I took the pen, but the tip was, Trudeau had probably pushed too much and he had broken the tip. So when I took the pen, it was not working. And I said something and I took the other pen and I signed. And when I said the word, she looked like that, she looked like that. And after that, I had a big laugh and people were asking me, what did you say? I said, oh, it's a state secret for years, but eventually I said, I said, merde, and she found it very funny. Then there was the stress of the referendum in the 90s, perfect bait for a Quebec comedian who dared to dial the palace. Uh, Your Majesty, I'm really stressed out of these days. I'm sure you are. The Canadian political situation is very critical. Yes. One day, some comedian in Quebec had called her, and the faking that I was the one on the line. I mean, if I can help, I would be delighted to, to do anything I can. Yes. Do you think you could, you could give me a text of what you'd like me to say? Sure, sure. And it was an extremely funny conversation, and poor Majesty, you know, she didn't know how to handle that. So the fact that he had tricked her into, onto, to the phone, I said to your Majesty, I'm sorry that somebody has uh, caused you this problem. You know, you must have been surprised. She said, of course I've been very surprised. I thought that you were drunk. <laughs> Decades of photos show that easy laugh between them. In his late 90s, Prince Philip urged Chrétien to stay in touch when in the UK, as acquaintances with that much history were few and far between. Time marches, and in this moment of the Platinum Jubilee, the Queen's perhaps unlikely friend is full of respect. She's a woman of duty. That's her, her duty. And uh, she will remain the monarch until the last day, I'm sure. She can work hard, and, uh, but, you know, she can relax too. And, uh, and uh, you know, she is a very good human being. And I was always very happy to meet her.